Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog Ryan Guys with another video opinion. This time, you know, no gameplay footage or whatever. It's just me, Domo, Garrus, and the camera. Yes! <laughs> but this is another opinion on Heroes of Cosplay. This time we're on episode 4. Yes, 4. This time at Matsuri Con, which is in Houston, Texas. This is not another Comic Con or anything like that. This is actually an anime convention. And I was definitely very interested to see what kind of cosplays that we're going to see. Now, for the, the cosplayers in on this, we basically had... There was a lot of double teams going on here. Victoria and Monica double, uh, teamed up together to do an older anime series uh, to cosplay. I forgot what it was called, but again, you know, you got to watch it. And Holly and Jessica did like an Internet Cat musical-esque type thing. Uh, kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. And as far as, you know... You know, the others go, Becky was there, but she was hosting for the convention. Yaya was there, back from Denmark, judging for the convention. So, all things aside, this is what I thought about. First and foremost, this is definitely one of the more interesting videos, because, again, you know, it showed stuff. It had stuff that I like and it had stuff that I dislike, but it's kind of like rolling itself. It's like rolling itself from fail to, you know, it's getting better, like rolling upwards almost on, on the stairs. Like, you're still hurting yourself, but you're getting there. But the things that are still that we that cosplayers irk about in this, in this you know in this in the whole series is still there you know. But first and foremost, uh, Victor, like the here are some key things I noted about. Now with the teams going on, Holly and Jessica. I'm sorry if you two are watching this. I don't know. I don't. I'm not trying to rain on your parade, especially you know. Especially you, Jessica, because this is your dream cosplay. This it, it was this this cosplay that you've done. You know, it, it had everything working against you almost because of it, it, you just didn't represent it well for people to recognize it instantly. And what you were doing on there, there was just it was just like a random YouTube, it was like a random YouTube video that you would find, which is actually pretty accurate for this, what you're doing. But it, it was just no. Yeah, you know, like, how you did it was interesting. You know, the bodysuit, yeah, that could have been easily, you know, you know, you, you know, because, you know, Jessica and Holly had a, had a commission to do for, you know, a, to make a, basically a monster costume for a viral video for, you know, Pacific Rim, and they were, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, they got this going, and it's like, I understand why they took it, because, like, oh my god, this would help definitely boost your resume, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you, you know, you're, yeah, you're at the cosplay here trying to be like, Hey, what's going on? We need to get done. Yeah. So, basically, all the odds were working against you. The one bad thing was that Jessica is allergic to wool. And they there were substitute wigs out there for that, or substitute materials. But I felt really bad bad for her because she was getting sick like my first and foremost part is shouldn't you take it off you know shouldn't you try to limit yourself on how how long you're wearing the wool thing if like if i was allergic to wool i would try to limit myself of how long i have to actually wear this versus you know like just wearing it you know and granted you were a trooper and i have to give you that but at the same time it could have been avoided if you bought the substitute material or you just try to limit yourself on how long you were wearing it. You know, aside for nitpicking here, but this is, you know, my opinion, my opinion. Holly, you know, I, I, again, Holly and Jessica's cosplays, you know, I felt bad for them because, again, it was just working against them at this point. Like, when I, when I heard the idea, it was very interesting, but I knew it wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to be like anything, like an honorable mention or anything. It was just too simple, too, eh, you know, to do. Now, Victoria and Monica's cosplays, again, they are doing it from an old anime series, which I'll just put it in my comment video, but the thing is, Victoria had to go to Wizard, Wizard World, I believe, and, you know, Junior, Junior, God damn it, I can't say his name right, yeah, I think he's, I think he has to be Korean or something like that, basically, he had to basically, uh, every time I, every time I keep watching this series, I'm noticing that he definitely had he, like I understand that Victoria is putting in you know her work, but he's definitely the backbone of her cosplay. Like without him, nothing at all. Like it would just 
there was a time when Victoria was you know, when the, they too when the Victoria and Junior was doing a Skype call of an update on how her cosplay was doing, she was like nitpicking all the stuff and being OCD about it. Granted, yeah, you can be OCD, but you're not working on it. I understand that you're in, you're at Wizard Con and do, you know help and working there, but you are not working on this cosplay. So at the same at, at, in one way in one side of the coin, you know, in in one side of the coin. You're right, you can be OCD about it because it's this competition. On the other side of the coin, you're not there working on it, and he's just he's kind of like slaving himself away to make this thing work. So, yeah. Monica had an interview with Blizzard to hopefully help her cosplay career, and, you know, I mean, and personally, I felt really jealous, and I'm like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge StarCraft fan, like, Currently patiently waiting on the third collector's edition to get. So, like, I even have a standee that's down there. So, you know, like, again, Monica, if you're watching this, uber jealous. But, they, you know, I, I felt bad for her because they were doing a team cosplay and Victoria wasn't really there to work on her cosplay. And was, everything was coming in, like, last second. like. Monica had the ball, Victoria dropped it, and especially when they were, because this was a competition that they actually can do a prejudge to show craftsmanship, like the first part was prejudging at Missouri Con is to show you craftsmanship, your work, and then the second part is like, you know, showing it off, a skit, whatever. And they definitely had some points against them because Victoria's cosplay was falling apart in front of the judges at the most critical point that... <laughs> It's almost embarrassing. And they had a point like, why did you use, you know, hot glue? You know, there are other there are other compounds out there that stick harder. And you know, you could have sewn it in like like again, it could have been avoided, but sadly Victoria wasn't there to, to actively work on her cosplay until the last second. And Monica had to soldier on you know, soldier on almost. So uh, Becky and uh, Yaya were there. Uh, they were uh, Becky was hosting the, the the contest while Yaya was being a judge for it. So overall, again, this was a very interesting episode because it was this had anime competition. There were definitely a lot of great cosplays there. Like the one thing is, Holly and Jessica again, they chose something that was working against them. They should have chose something that worked. Like you know, don't be afraid to do something video games at an anime convention. Like yes, this is an anime convention, but anime and video games go hand in hand. Like, do something like a Mass Effect cosplay, or just something video game-esque, you know, that's popular, you know. And, you know, Victoria and Monica, you know, they, you know, they were, you know, they soldiered on. And it's just, I felt really bad for just Jessica and her allergic reaction. And also, she was bickering with a security off security guard there, and I'm like, why are you doing that? I'm, you know, I do, I, you know, I work at conventions myself as security and I do security for my job and I'm like the last thing you want to do is pick a fight with a security officer trying to tell you you need to get off the floor because yeah you're at a part you're at an area where you can't really sit down like you should have told them like I, you should have told them like just give me a second let me get off the floor I'm not feeling too good just in a regular voice they were raising their voice and it's like oh my god please just stop right there or else you are gonna get thrown out so yeah uh, overall you know I can't say who win because it is up to you, but I, what I can't, you know, what I can say is, again, that this is one of the more, most interesting things, because aside from the last episode, no, you know, what they're really trying to work for, it's really interesting, like, you see the work put into it, but is it worth it in the end? Do, do they get an award? Do they get recognition? You know, it is up to you to watch it. That's the thing about my opinion videos, I don't like to, I don't like to spoil it for anyone. So they could just watch an opinion video and be like, oh, this and this and this. Oh, no, you need to watch it yourself to get your own opinion to see what happened at the end. Because, again, I understand this is a reality show. And I understand that you know, there's a lot of things going on. But, actually, I'm very happy that at the very end, which is kind of ironic, at the same time that Holly was saying that cosplay is about having fun, being with your friends, and bettering, bettering yourself at craftsmanship. Because Monica, yeah, she was being, she was being an elitist for all the right and wrong reasons. And I made a video about that too, so... Like, it's very interesting that Holly said that, and at the same time, this show is basically almost glorifying... 
like it, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say glor as much as glorify like it's showing off elitism you know com uber competitiveness craziness like why didn't you start with that in the first place like this is the this is the one thing I was hoping for this is the one thing I was gonna be like Chloe said it first in episode two saying cosplay is about having fun being with your friends and stuff like that like screw to anyone who it says it's like is what you want to do and now Holly's saying you know it's fun it's supposed to be enjoyable for everyone and the show makes it look like you have to be an elitist you have to like have everything down on an OCD level for these competitions which granted you kind of have to do but like, like on this level it's drama 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 and, I, and it, it makes people want to think to themselves are they really is this really what they want to do it looks like they are having more stress put onto them than them actually enjoying themselves and having fun that's the problem with this like that's the one thing why I hate having a working on something I love, like working on a hobby that I enjoy, because at one point you're gonna ask yourself, am I having more fun doing this just as a hobby rather than making money off of it as a full time job? You know, is it worth everything? So, again, this is my fourth episode opinion for Heroes of Cosplay. Thank you for enjoying. Again, I don't mean disrespect on all, any and all cosplayers other than this. It's just, again, it's my opinion. I'm just, you know, I'm saying it how it is. So, Overall, uh, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, check out my other content. I got more content in there, including guides to anime cons and video commentaries. And also, you know, stay tuned for episode 5 next week here on the Kiki Panda blog. And remember, stay geeky, my friends.